Welcome back for another L in the Moon tutorial and L in the Moon design. I'm calling this the Rococo crochet crop top. Can be made in many different sizes and lengths. So let's get started. All right, today we're going to work on making one of these beautiful tops, crop tops. Um, show you how to make it with sleeves, without. I love this lace crochet stitch. It's really simple. You can get in the groove of it. Once you learn how to do it, you can just zone out and do it. So I'm going to be using this. Um, need a measure. You need a hard measure. As an inch on here. Check your crochet stitch. We're going to be using some this to measure our shoulders, our waist, our Rib, around our rib cage, upper waist, and um, take some measurements. And it's Similac because I can't find my other measuring tape right now. I know it's around, but I need to video this. And you'll need scissors. So we're gonna be using Cotton Fair, um, 317 yards here. You need like one and a half to make a medium, large, or extra large top. You need two for an extra large, actually. Um, so let me show you here, get this opened up, 52% cotton, 48% acrylic. I always try to use something that has a cotton blend because I get too hot due to perimenopause. Everything makes me hot. I can't handle a lot of acrylic um, alone. So this also has a really nice drape. It's, it's very flexible, bungee. I like that give and how it drapes on the body. You, it's too fine and you here is the information that you need um we're going to be using a let me see what kind of hook i used on this because i'm not sure if i even matched up the hook so just one moment you will need a size seven hook it's 18 single crochets per four by four square so let me find my hook and i will tell you if i actually use the right one so I have a 5mm H8. So I actually sized up, it's fine. Um, so you're welcome to use a seven, but my directions are gonna be using an H8 hook. H8, five millimeter. When you do single crochets, you are going to do, um, obviously you're gonna do chain stitching. This is, I would say an intermediate pattern. Go. Let's make a slip knot. Be sure to chain enough stitches to reach around your upper rib cage under the breast um, area. Um, you want it to fit loosely, so I would even give it two more inches. Then measure. Okay. So this is a really important part. You want to make sure not to twist when you're making joining the ends. It's very easy to get things confused yeah, and to twist things. To where you are going to be looping through, you need to make sure you don't get this twisted here. You can fix it if it does get twisted, but you want to kind of stay and put in the top of the, ch the, the chain. I'm gonna go through the top of the chain. After I chain three. So remove this little twig. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into the, ne the next stitch. So I chain three, go through the next stitch after we slip stitch to join, single crochet. Go to the top single crochet. Okay, top, single crochet. Okay. Top. You're going to single crochet in every stitch. So, 
I'm going to do this all the way around and you are going to rejoin me. I'm going to single crochet in every stitch at the very top bump. See, you got like it looks like three there and go on the very top of that. Make sure you're going to go to the one that's right beside it all the way around. Okay. Go on the top all the way around. I'm, I will meet you back here once I am ready to join to the beginning again, okay? So just continue to do that. It looks, should look like that. All right, so we're at the end, back to the beginning, making sure not to twist. And you are going to slip stitch, okay? Oh, shoot. See, I twisted it. All right, so here we go. <laughs> See, so you're going to slip stitch to the beginning. Your first stitch is very thin, thin yarn. All right, so I slip stitch. There was the, there's the join. I slip stitch. And then chain three. All right, next, you're going to skip your first stitch here, okay? And go into the next. So here we go. We're going to yarn over, double crochet into this stitch, double crochet again into that stitch, same stitch, chain two, double crochet into the same stitch. We're doing a little cluster shell cluster. And then again, so it's two double crochets, two chains, two, two double Next, you're going to skip three. So let's look closely. One, two, three, and then go into the fourth one. And then you're going to repeat two double crochets. Let me pull my yarn. I don't want it to fall on the floor. Two, that's the second, chain two. Another two double crochets. Yarn over. Now, obviously, I'm using US terms, so in UK, they're not called double crochets. So, we're going to skip three again. One, two, three. Go into the fourth one. Two double crochets. Chain two. Two double crochets. Okay, so what are we gonna do again? We're gonna skip three. One, two, three. Go into the top of the fourth. Two, one, two. Chain two. Again. All right, and here's what it's starting to look like, okay? So, we're gonna do that all the way around. So I'm gonna show you me doing it a bit, and then I'm gonna skip ahead to the end. Just trying to get my yarn going. Now, if you use a, a yarn that's closer, like a little more rigid, this one isn't acrylic. I haven't finished this yet, but this one's acrylic, and um, I did it in a single panel because I'm trying to do something different but using the same, you know, pattern. Um, it'll be go quicker for you. Um, since I'm using a hook eight, as opposed to seven, it's a little bit harder for me to do this and not go as fast. But if you use an acrylic, like I have one right here, you can like zoom. I would be able to zoom through this really quickly because it'll match up with the, the pr proper yarn, proper hook size. So I just want to tell you that if you use a thicker yarn, then you'll get a better uh, you can work more quickly, but your item will not have as much drape. It'll be more wintry too. One, two, three. Fourth one, go in. Okay, so I'm just going to be quiet here for a bit and go on about doing the two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet shell pattern. And if it looks like I'm not going very fast, it's because I'm in an awkward position to film this. I haven't figured out a really good filming 
a crochet set up yet. I had one and then I realized that it wasn't working out the way I wanted it to. So one, two, three. The good thing about when you start repeating up this pattern in the next row is you don't have to do all this counting really. So the first single crocheting all the way around after you do your row of stitches, and then after this row, things go way, way more quickly. You'll see what I'm talking about shortly here. Okay. One, two, three, four. I also think I've had a little too much caffeine today, so I'm a little bit anxious and my hands are shaking just a little bit. It may actually be because of menopause, but it may not have anything to do with the caffeine, actually. One, two, three, four. Insert your hook. Yarn over. Making sure to make everything tight. Just jab, double crochet. One, two, three, four. Oops, I accidentally split these. So you don't want to split these. You want to go through both, through the hole in the middle. Almost split it in half. That wouldn't have made it look right. See, I can make a really cute crown for a little girl if you just do one, do these three rows. You wouldn't even have to do anything. You'd need to use a more rigid yarn though. I don't know if you hear that, that's my dad's phone. It's so annoying. All right, so I'm almost at the end here. Let me zoom in a little. So as you can see, it's looking beautiful. The drape is beautiful with this yarn. Gosh, it does split a little with this yarn, but not as much as, not enough to make me not want to use it. So one, two, three, four, going into the last one. I mean, last shell right now, before I tell you what to do at the end of each row. And this is a row, it's gonna be a repeat, like, so. You're gonna be repeating, <laughs> repeating this pattern for the, almost the rest of the top, except for the sleeves. All right, so we just did our last, we just did our last um, cluster, and we got one stitch left. 
we're going to do a double crochet, US terminology again, into that stitch, double crochet. And then we're gonna slip stitch to join in the third chain of the double crochet, uh, chain three from the previous round. So this was the first, this is the first chain three. So we're gonna slip stitch in there. Ready, we're gonna chain three again, two, three. And then here's where the fun part starts. This is gonna be so much fun. You don't have to do all that counting really. All you're gonna do is go on the top of each of these shells and do the same two double crochets, chain two, double, two double crochets, like so. It gets really fun and really fast. Two, there's double, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochets. This is where the speed begins. Next, you don't have to count. You just go into the next one, the next top of the, where you put the two, two chain in the top of the two, the shell. Sorry, I'm tongue tied. So you're just gonna go into the top of that shell where the chain two is. Let me twist it. Sometimes I like to twist it around several fingers. Sometimes I just one. Don't judge me, please. Everybody has their own technique. And look how fast I'm moving along. I haven't sped anything up. And you just keep going around. And then when we get back to where we started, you do a another two double crochet. So you really get moving to get back to the beginning of the round. We're going to do a double crochet and then slip stitch to your original chain three. So I'm just going to be doing this for a row. You're going to repeat this for rows and rows on end. Now you will want to repeat this pattern until you get the length that you want. I am making crop top length. If you want it longer, make it longer. Okay, you really only need a ball and a little bit more ball and a half for crop top length. If you wanna make it longer, you're gonna need two to two and a half, okay? Or if you can even make it a dress, but this pattern's for a top. Um, I'm gonna tell you in a second how many row repeats that I did for the original top that we're gonna be adding the other sleeve too. I've already added the one. It's a cold shoulder top. Okay, so here you go. That's what it starts to look like. I'm gonna continue going all the way around and I'll show you a little bit more of that. I'm gonna count the rows on this one and tell you. So there's the single crochet. So the first you did the stip stitches. First you did the chains and then the single crochets and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen rows. This would be for a person who is a size A, B. If you're gonna be C to D cups, I would say that you need to do at least twenty to twenty-four rows. Double D's, etc. So I'm gonna continue on, and like I said, there's no counting. Make sure you're not all twisted up before you really get moving. And just sit in front of your TV or listen to a podcast like I like to do, and you will be cooking. You will get this done in no time. I say this should take about, to get to whatever amount of rows, depending on, I'd say about hour and a half to two hours. All right, so I'm in the last, let me zoom. I'm in the last two of, our second set of shells. So this is basically round four because we have the crochet where we chain and then we have the row of single crochets and then the first row of these shell clusters and this is the fourth. A lot of people don't count the foundation chain as a row so I will concede that it's possibly the third. So I'm going into the last one before we meet up again. Just wanted to show you again how to close it up before you go on to your next round. Oops. Two, two double crochets. Two, 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 basically is what you need to know. Two DC, two chain, two DC. Now, here we go. All right, so there's that. So. 
So now I'm doing a double crochet in that last stitch like the previous round. Then I'm joining at the top of the chain three from the previous round, right, pulling it through, slip stitch, chain three again, and we're going into our next row. You're just going to repeat this for as, ma as many rounds as you need. I keep saying rows, but we're working in a round. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure and come back for part two for the sleeves and bust modification.